Hey Freebs, Jordan Page from FunCheaperFree.com and BudgetBootCamp.com and today I'm going to air out my dirty laundry. You may or may not know that I've got five kids and we had them within six years. So between the uniforms and the play clothes and the church clothes and the soccer clothes and the gymnastics clothes and all the clothes, plus all the pee accidents and all that potty training jazz, we have a lot of laundry every week. Like a lot, a lot. If you followed me at all, you know that I'm a frugal living and lifestyle budgeting expert. We do not spend much on our clothes. I really want them to hold up and look nice. So I have become the master of stain fighting, sorting, washing, whiting, all of it. Today, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. Show you my best tips and tricks and maybe it'll help you conquer your laundry too. First, I'm gonna start out giving you just a little tour of my laundry room and the system that I have and then I'll show you how I sort. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna start off showing you about this laundry system right here. This used to be a countertop with two cabinet things. Ended up being a place to gather clutter. We ripped that out. I repurposed the countertop and we moved it up. And then I had a handyman just build me nine grids. One of my greatest pain points with laundry was folding clothes and putting them away. Each person in our family has their own square and their own laundry basket. Right now they are labeled with super fancy masking tape. Someday I'll get around to doing a cute little vinyl something something, but I'm not very crafty, so you know. Maury, who's the baby, her basket also includes just generic things that go upstairs like towels and sheets and stuff. And when I take clothes out of the dryer, I no longer fold them. I no longer fold them. I no longer fold them. I take them out and sort them and I throw them loosely in the appropriate basket. And then at the end of the night, we take the baskets, we set them outside the kids' rooms, and in the morning they need to fold and put their own clothes away before school. Slow clap. I know. Brings a tear to your eye, doesn't it? Oh, it's good. It's good. Sometimes though, when I'm in a big hurry and I have a lot of laundry to get through, I don't even have time to sort the clothes out of the dryer. So, at the bottom here, I've got two baskets. This one and this one. I just toss all the clothes. I don't sort them at all. For my kids' chores, they're each assigned zones. One of my kids' zone is the laundry room. He comes to this basket, sorts them for me, and then he'll carry the baskets up and put them in front of people's rooms for me, stuff like that. So that's how this system works. This is pretty high for the average person. It is certainly not desk height. It's more counter height, which is what I wanted because if I was a good mom and folded other people's clothes, I use this to fold on. One thing I wanna point out is that I do not iron, but I do steam. So I've got this steamer here in the corner. You can't really see it, it's hidden and I'm too lazy to get it out for you. But I will link it down below. I love steaming pleats and buttons and collars and dress shirts and light silky things. They all take so long to iron. I can steam an entire dress in less than a minute. It's a lifesaver. So I have one down here and I actually have one in my master closet upstairs. Guys, go get a steamer. Just do it. Another thing I have over here is a drying rack because there are certain clothes that I do not dry. But my goal is I just ordered this. It's like an accordion drying rack that mounts to the wall. So the reason I left this gap here is because I want to mount it and be able to pull it down and hang things on it to dry so that it's out of the way. So there you go, that's this system over here. Now let me show you how I sort the clothes. One of my favorite features of this house when we moved in was the fact that it had a laundry chute. It's upstairs next to the kids' room so they throw their dirty clothes in it and it lands right here. The blessing of that is it keeps things contained. The curse of that, yeah. <clears throat> now, do you feel like even if you use good soap and you wash it like you should, your clothes always turn out faded and dingy, maybe not as clean as they should? That's probably because you're sorting by lights and darks, sorting by lights and darks, sorting by lights and darks. Instead, you need to be sorting by texture. The best way to explain it is to just show you. In my laundry room, I am lucky enough, hold on, I am lucky enough to have these awesome laundry bins built 
in and make sorting a breeze. If you're not as lucky as me to have that, <laughs> sorry. And I won't rub it in, <clears throat> but really those are awesome. That's okay, there are different ways to sort. I used to just use tall laundry baskets, four or five of them stacked up along a wall. There are also baskets that you can hang on the wall, mesh bags, if you will. Ikea has some good ones. However you choose to do it, sort by texture. The four main separations I do for clothes are mine and Bubba's clothes, white, heavy kids clothes and light kids clothes. Light not meaning light in color, but light meaning light in texture. The other sorting I do is towels and sheets and then extra, extra, extra dirty. We get really dirty in our house. Let me just start sorting and show you how to do this. I do not know how to make this angle not awkward. I will turn a show on my phone or I'll turn on YouTube. Hey, if you need an idea, I know a really good YouTube channel you should follow. Just saying. Monday is my laundry day. That's the day where I take a half hour at night and sort everything so then the rest of the week I can keep up with a load or two or day lickety split. I'm just gonna grab it at random. Oh, it's stinky. Towels are easy. I tend to pull those out of the pile first because they're easy to spot. I don't have enough baskets for towels, so I actually just throw them in the sink because they're usually damp. They'll make your clothes smell moldy and nasty. Ain't nobody down with that. Let's talk about heavy kids' clothes real quick. If you are sorting by lights and darks, then what happens is these thick pants would go in with this lightweight, bright colored girl's top. Is it gonna kill you? No. But this and this will start looking like crap soon. This is gonna get all the attention. This is gonna absorb all the soap. This is gonna block this from getting the love and care and attention it needs. Separate these, put these with heavy, like-minded friends, put these with lightweight, like-minded friends, and everybody's in their proper cliques and everyone is happy. I promise. The way I think about the heavy pile is not only is it heavy textures, but it's also clothes that really just aren't that soiled and they don't need a lot of TLC. Jammies, technically not all pajamas are light or heavyweight. So this is a pajama top, but it is not fleece. I'm putting it with the heavy pile anyway. I don't want this to be taking up the soap and attention from this, if that makes sense. So this is fine to go in with the heavy stuff. It just doesn't need that much attention or care, fleece jammies, track pants, some more jammies, turn everything right side up, pants. My heavy pile is my biggest, most popular pile, so it gets enormous. What I may do, and in fact, I'll probably do this right now, is I will separate pants and put them in their own pile because I'm gonna have to do two loads anyway. So again, you wanna find the most like-minded textures possible. I will maybe separate athletic, type textures from the pajama fleecy type textures. Once in a while, I'll come across a shirt like this. This is an old t-shirt. My son wears it to play in. It's not in great shape. It's not stained. It's not very dirty. So I'm actually gonna throw this in the heavy pile just because, like I said, it's not very soiled and it doesn't need a lot of TLC. I want to save the TLC for the clothes that really need it. Okay, so now let's move on to the next pile. So like this shirt I've been using as an example. It's just cotton, lightweight. It's maybe the clothes that my kids would wear to school. Want to keep it nice. Or maybe it's lightweight clothes that I really want to make sure they get really super clean, like underwear. When I wash everything, I clean almost everything, with the exception of whites, in cold water. Do you know that warm water and hot water actually sets in stains except for whites? So you want the hottest water possible with whites. But pretty much everything else, I always use cold water. Hot water fades the clothes and it sets in stains, so cold water is your best friend. When I sort my laundry, the very first load I always try to do is the lightweight kids' clothes. And the reason why is because, like I said, these are the clothes that we wear day to day, to school and whatever, and they tend to get dirty and filthy and nasty and oh so gross. As I'm sorting, I have my shout, shout it out. I think it used to be called spray and wash and this is not an ad, these guys don't know I exist. Hey shout, shout me. On every spot that I see that looks like it may be tough getting out, I just spray it with some of this. Oh, I'm running out. And it's good for the formula to soak into the clothes for a while, 
but you don't necessarily want it to dry. So anything that I spray from this lightweight load, I'll actually set straight in the washer so that I make sure to wash it first so it doesn't dry on the clothes for too long. Another option is 409. My mother-in-law absolutely swears by this. She uses it on her clothes because it's a degreasing cleaner. She says that it gets out stains better than anything. So there you go. So this goes in the light pile. This goes in the light pile. This t-shirt, this one's pretty bad. So I'm gonna spray this a little bit. Towel, throw that in the sink. Shorts, so this would go in the heavy pile. Sweatpants, heavy pile. Towel, fleece pajamas, heavy pile. Jersey goes in the heavy pile. Okay, so this is a skirt. Um, this is actually fairly dense, like fairly heavy. It's a lot of fabric. So what I would do with this is right now, like it doesn't look dirty at all. I bet my daughter wore it for 30 seconds before throwing it down the laundry chute. Does anybody else's kids do that? So I'm actually going to put this in the heavy pile because the clothes that are in the light pile are dirtier and need more TLC. These are little lightweight shorts, but the bum is pretty dirty. That's going in the light pile. All right, so this athletic shirt, you really could go either way. This one is exceptionally dirty and gross. So today I'm gonna uh, put it in the light pile because the light pile gets more TLC. Here's a nightgown, so this goes in the heavy pile. A lot of um, people ask me, if you don't sort by lights and darks, then don't your colors bleed? I have never in my life ever had colors bleed. And I shop at yard sales, I shop at Walmart, I buy my kids clothes at the cheapest places on the planet. Uh, these are shorts, these are in the heavy. Your colors are bleeding if you're using water that's too hot. Or maybe once in a while you buy something that's crazy bright red, leaks on something else. But even then, I've never had that problem ever in my life, ever. As long as you're washing things on cold water, you should be just fine. This is actually a pajama top, but it's kind of in bad shape. So I'm gonna spray it a little bit and then put it in the light pile. Do I have more shout? Another product that I love is this Clorox Two. I don't know how it works, but it really does boost colors and it fights stains really well. And I'm actually just about out of shout. So this actually works as a really great stain treater as well. So I'm actually just gonna pour some of that in here. I don't wanna use this exclusively because this is a little more expensive than the shout, but for today, it's better than nothing. And let me tell you this, it's really important to treat the stains on your clothes because once those clothes go through the dryer, whatever stain is on them is on them for good. It doesn't take me much longer to spray before putting it in the washer. It's worth the time. So this one is lightweight, it's got a spot on the front. Put it in the load that needs to go in the washer right away. This goes in the light. Now let me tell you about a few other piles that I will make depending on how my dirty clothes look. A different pile I will make is for church clothes, a nicer fabric, maybe they have jewels or things like that, or even big fluffy skirts that really aren't that dirty, but you need to put them through the wash anyway. I actually call it my church clothes pile, just because it's more of like the tool and the taffeta and the, the jewels. You need to get clean, but you wanna do it more on a gentle cycle. I'll make that pile up here so you can see that baby dress goes in that pile. This dress that is all whatever fabric this is. Basketball shorts, heavy pile. Let me see if there's anything different I need to show you. You always separate your whites. That's the only thing that you separate by color. And my socks, even the ones that have color on them, I bleach them. I have stopped buying socks with pattern, print, or color. For my kids, the only socks you'll ever see in the Page household are either pure white or they have a little bit of gray within the shoe where you wouldn't be able to see it. I was tired of matching up socks. We lose socks like crazy. So I buy like 30 pair of socks that are the same and they usually fit a wide enough range of sizes that they fit all my kids' feet. So I have boy socks, girl socks that are thinner and smaller. And that's all I do. Two types of socks if your kids don't wear the same shoe size. Maybe what you could do is give each kid their own color. So like any sock that has a gray toe belongs to this kid, any sock with a pink toe belongs to this kid. But basically from the ankle up, I want it all white because I'm not matching anymore. This has color on the top, but I'm gonna bleach it anyway and it'll be just fine. We'll not bleach out the color, or shouldn't anyway. I've never had that happen. Same with these nautical shorts. They're really dirty, so I'm gonna throw these in the bleach pile. These lacy shorts are white 
but they are not dirty like at all. So instead of putting them in, in with the whites where they're gonna get hammered with bleach and soaking and hot, hot water, I'm just gonna put them in with the heavy pile. And with towels, I will say this, we use all white towels in our bathrooms except for the kid bathrooms. They have their special towels that their aunt made them. All of our towels for our showers and guest rooms are white because you can bleach the heck out of them and they stay good as new. When I do towels, I will separate all white towels and rags and I'll wash those with bleach and then everything else. Oh, I lied. Towels, I do wash on hot. Hot, 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 as hot as you can stand it because if you don't, they start to get stinky. And with towels, instead of using fabric softener, rinse them with vinegar instead. I just pour a little bit in the fabric softener cup and it makes your towels smell better. It kind of cleans out the fibers and it softens them and it strips them of all of this stuff that's been building up. So if your towels are stinky, hottest water you can stand always and then rinse them with vinegar and you'll see a huge difference. This is a church shirt. So this is gonna go with the church clothes pile. Make sure to unroll the sleeves. This is just like a random trash shirt, like a pajama shirt, so even though it's lightweight, it's gonna go in the heavy pile. Underwear always goes in the light pile. And I do have a laundry basket in my laundry chute, just because it's easier to dump that out than it is to like scoop all the clothes out when the pile is huge. Now, the reason I separate mine and Bubba's clothes from all the kid clothes is, again, it kind of goes down to texture. Our clothes are just way bigger than theirs. So if you wash our clothes with their clothes, ours are gonna eat up everything. So we keep ours separate. I'll separate ours into heavy and light and wash those. When it comes to dryers, you want to be careful about what you are drying on high. My dryer dries really super hot. So for like cotton clothes and kids clothes, I will actually tend to do it on one notch below just the normal heat because like I said, it's really hot. Um, except for towels, you know, you want to do those on hot. And then my other trick is if you like using dryer sheets like I do, rip them in half. One half is more than enough for what you need, so you get twice as much out of them, and then there's less buildup in your dryer. Another little secret I have to my laundry system is that I rarely ever, 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 and by rarely I mean pretty much never, do dry cleaning. Sometimes Bubba will get a few of his nice dress shirts dry cleaned, and I do recommend that, but for clothes that say dry clean only, I had never paid for dry cleaning, ever. I just put them on a hand wash cycle, cold water, very mild, and they do fine. So if you're brave enough to try, try it. It'll save you a ton of money. Okay, so all my clothes are sorted. I've got my lightweight kids clothes in the washer. I'm gonna do that load first. There were several things in that pile that I had sprayed. I like using these Tide Pods. I am a total Tide snob. I've tried every detergent on the planet. Tide is my favorite, and then also this Clorox 2 stuff that I told you about. So for this case, I'm going, it's a pretty full load, so I'm going to do two of these. And a lot of people ask me why I like these, because they are a little bit more expensive. I like them because they're convenient, and I also like them because my clothes look better. A lot of people think that by adding more soap, you're gonna get your clothes cleaner, but actually, if you use too much soap, it can make your clothes look dingier. So I feel like with these, my clothes look better because I'm much more regulated on the amount of soap that I use. You just throw them in. Uh, I'm gonna do two in here, like I said. I have quite a few things in there that were pretty stained. So I'm actually gonna add just like a little bit of this to the main wash, just to give it an extra little boost of stain power. I'm gonna do it on normal. Make sure it's on cold. Soil level is heavy. And go. I'm not going to pre-soak these today because I have a lot of laundry and need it to go fast, but I do keep just some regular Tide on hand because if you do need to pre-soak a load, if they're really dirty, you don't want to use those pods. 
you want to use just a normal liquid. The pods do not work for pre-soaking. They dissolve too fast. And then the other thing I do is I keep cheap detergent on hand for things that don't really matter, matter like junky towels and like old sheets and stuff. I don't want to use the expensive detergent on that because it really doesn't make a difference. So there you go. That's how I do my laundry. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that maybe gave you a few tips and tricks from a mom who does a lot of laundry. My oldest, he is seven and a half this year. And when he turns eight in January, he's going to start doing his own laundry. So he is in training right now. That's why I gave him the laundry room as his zone. So he kind of helps me sort the laundry and I'm teaching him stuff. So eventually I'll get to the point where he puts his own clothes in his own laundry basket and washes them himself. That is the goal for all my kids. I do new videos every Thursday, so if you like this one, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification so you know when I put a video up. Check out funcheaperfree.com, which is my free blog, and I've got a super fun budgeting program called budgetbootcamp.com. Use the code YouTube for 10% off. Now, if you don't mind, I need to go wash my hands because they're gross. Have a good day, guys.